What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and today we have Caesar from Planet of the Apes, the revamped Planet of the Apes series. I wanted to draw this, uh, draw him earlier, but uh, I just, I, I chickened out to be honest with you. But I said, you know what, let me get back in here and, and really get going with this. Let me stop playing around. And... I'm very familiar. With, I'm familiar with the movie from, I think it's like from the '60s. Although I wasn't, I wasn't born when the movie first came out, the, the Planet movie. But I, I, I was familiar with it. I seen you know, the original version. I remember when the, uh, when the, what you call it, like the the revamp, the reboot came out, about like in the early 2000s with uh, Mark Wahlberg. I remember seeing that. And I didn't know that it, like, from that one movie, it was going to spawn, like, a epic saga. I didn't know it was going to do all that, but it turned into a, like, a, a, a phenomenon. I, and I, I have yet to see the, this movie, the latest one's a War of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I get to see that one, but I heard it. I heard it was good. So I'm curious about that. And if those don't know, I am drawing Caesar. Caesar is the leader of the Ape Rebellion from the Planet of the Apes. He was a well, he is a genetically modified uh, ape. Who has quote unquote human like intelligence and he has a ongoing conflict with the human species and in that conflict you know things happen and you end up having was turned out to be an all out war hence you know war the planet apes and it's pretty much basically like a a genetic fight for survival. You know, fighting, literally fighting for their lives against the humans because the humans want to annihilate them so the humans can can reign supreme over, you know, as being the top species, you know, the apex predator, the top species on the food chain. So, Craziness in season. And the character Caesar, you know, is a very, very powerful character. He is a, a commanding presence. Even as even even with the you know him being, you know, CGI and all that stuff, he, uh, the way he's portrayed, you know, the voice actors and all that stuff, he has a powerful presence. In the movies, like when you see him, like he looks like a legit leader, like he really can you know handle business, and you know he's intelligent, he strategizes, and, and and he was deemed the leader of his eight brethren. So much so that he led them into battle, you know. He had it well. I'm not going to say too much because I, I know some of the, the story from the from the movie, but I'm not going to say too much. I don't know who hasn't seen it because you know, I don't want to spoil anything. But I'm I'm familiar. I'm in the know when it comes to the plot of the new. But anyway, I just talk about the basics. You know, Caesar is. No, the ringleader for the apes. You know, they, they follow him. He, he you know, he's their leader. They follow him, and you know, he takes him into war with the humans and you know, he's very good at at handling business. Let's just say that. He's he's very proficient. In 
doing his thing. Yeah, I like I like this image right here. This image is very cool, so This is I, I kiss like whenever you see Caesar's face, he's always like this is you know, powerful command, powerful presence. Like it looks like like yeah, like he he's the leader. Like this is like it's unsaid, but it's like yeah, he like, who's the leader? Him, yeah. Caesar. Yeah, he's he's the leader. He, he's he's the one you need to talk to. He's he's that he's that guy. Like everybody knows that one person when you look at when you look at them, you look at him or her, you could tell okay, that yeah, that person, he or she is the one. That's the that's the that's the guy, that's that's the guy. And when it comes to Caesar, same thing. Like he looks like yeah, he he he's the one. There's nothing to discuss. You pretty much look for him for guidance and he he got you. But it's like he looks like he just he's like it's, it looks like he's just on he's just on a hundred all day like that's what it looks like it's like he's on a hundred like he don't ever rest for, for nothing he just he's on it right but we 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 gonna do battle just just like just so y'all know we gonna fight and I'm gonna lead and whoever don't like it we gonna just focus gotta deal with you. Gotta make sure I do this right, cause when you do a character like like Caesar, you gotta you gotta represent right. And the one, I will admit, the one challenge that I usually have. Is when I'm drawing fur because it's a very subtle way to get it right, but if it's not done correctly, it could look really weird. Like it could look off. So when it comes to that, you gotta be very you know, careful about how you how you do this. Careful about how you how you're rocking this. Okay, the way the way I usually draw for I, I use like like short. If you can see, like do like short little strokes and stuff. Short strokes with the marker. To kind of give it that like 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 a like a bristle type thing. I 
Then I gotta switch it up. Then when I'm using the pen, kind of like the same choppy, like, like it's kind of like, I call, I call it like a chop, like, this is like you like it chopping, just chop, 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 like that, so, I gotta give it that same feel. It's tedious, like I said, it's, it's, it's tedious, it's all crap, but, you know, the effects can be, the results can be very, very promising. If you're patient enough, that's one thing I usually gotta keep in mind. Just when I'm doing something like this, gotta be patient. Gotta be patient with it. I gotta kind of use this ink to kind of place it like really supposed to be dark. I gotta get those right. But just look, look at his eyes. When you, you look at his eyes, it's just, it just looks like a, like he looks, it's like, he's, like he ain't to be played with. <laughs> he looks like he ain't the one. Like, I mean, there's some people that when you see them, you're like, okay. Let me not mess with this person. Like, this person is not the one to be played with. Like, if, if you cross him the wrong way, if you interfere with their mission, which his mission was, you know, to save his species, you get in the middle of that, he, 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 will, like, he will end you himself. This ape is no joke. Like when you hear him speak, it's like but when he speaks, he's like, oh, okay. You that one, huh? That's what he look like. Like, like when he speaks to you, like he speaks with like a authority, like that like he, he don't have to ask for anything, like he get done. I think that think the one the the uh the guy who played uh Schmeagle, does the voice of Caesar. Man, I think, yeah, if I'm not, not mistaken, the guy who does, Smeagol does the voice of Caesar. And his voices, like he can go, he can go as high pitch as a golem to go deep, like with Caesar and they both work. Excuse me.
like I said, like this kind of like this kind of cross hatching technique is very tedious, but I use it a lot when it comes to making like, to fur and all that stuff. It helps. It's just it's just tedious. Yeah, so. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to go, you don't want to go overboard with, you know, the markings and stuff. You want to have like just the right amount. Because too little, you know, when working and too much, you can just overdo it. So, don't want to go overboard with that. But, I wonder how many moves they're going to make. Because eventually they have to, got to stop at some point. I mean... Caesar can't live forever, and how many how many humans are going to try to kill him? So, eventually, going to have eventually going to like, end it. Something. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get like a like a face paint type look to it. Like he does, this, this particular he has like face paint on, so. I want that really show because I don't want I don't I don't want to put too much I want to put too much marking you know too much I want to put too many lines on his face because then it would take away from the look of face paint so gotta be careful with that. Yeah, be very, very selective about how I do this. I gotta put the right highlights, the right color in. There. Oh, 
so tedious. So, so tedious. But it's a challenge. So it's a challenge I set for myself. Like I said, I was I thought about doing it, but then I kind of kind of chickened out because, like, I just don't want to deal with the labor of this. But you know what? Let me let me stop being a punk about mine. Let's let's, let's just test myself. The thing is, like, this is a well-known character. I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up in any way. When, you, when, you, when you're trying to draw characters that are known, or you know, try to draw people that are known, you know, the fans of, of those characters, the people, are very, very particular about you know how things look. Like they, they want it's just, can't just throw anything on you know on the paper and say, "Here you go, how does it look." You know, I want to make sure I get it right. That's why I made sure when I when I drew this out first, I want to make sure that all the lines were together. You know, measure twice, cut once type thing. Because I didn't want to record this and something be off. I look, I'm looking crazy and stuff. I'm looking crazy out here in these streets. That. I don't want no parts of that. It's just very tedious. And usually I try to do certain shortcuts with, with this, but when it comes to drawing certain things, there isn't really any shortcuts. <laughs> it's not really any shortcuts when it comes to certain certain characters or certain parts of the body with certain characters. It's not really shortcuts. You got to just go all the way through there. So, oh. I got to suck it up and deal with it. That's to work with, but I got to work with. I haven't done this much cross hatching in I don't know how long. So much cross cross hatching. Put the flora in the back, the flora in the fauna.
I tell you this much. I know one thing when it when it comes to uh Planet of the Apes and Caesar and all that stuff, I know for sure kids won't be going to the zoo going to the zoo looking the same no more. They will be they will not be looking at chips the same way no more. All monkeys and apes will be looked at differently at all zoos across the world because of this movie. Every time you see a chimp, oh that's Caesar. Look at Caesar. So, be careful. Be careful with these animals because you never know. You never know which chimp is going to be Caesar in the next hundred years or so. <laughs> Mess around, have a have a have a chimp walk up to you with an AK forty seven, ready ready to blast off on you. What's this? Insurance. Um, this is. See. I can't end it like I got to do a little something else. I gotta finish it off. I don't want to leave no empty spaces like that. So I gotta finish it off. Okay, so. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is Caesar, leader of the Planet of the Apes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will catch you all later. Peace.